While officials say they've already addressed the removal of encampments throughout the city and county, the question still remains, where do individuals go from these encampments? When I look at the system wide, if I look at all the shelters, I mean, if you were to ask a lot of my colleagues, they're full. I mean, this is we're at capacity. Carlos Baldovinos, chairman for the Bakersfield Kern Regional Homeless Collaborative, tells me that when it comes to homelessness and encampments, the city and county are already doing what they can. But even though last year the city was able to address 4,555 encampments. I mean, where are you going to put these people? As executive director for the mission at Kern County also, Baldovino said he's seen development over the last 10 years with resources to address homelessness. He said recently the mission expanded by 40 more beds. The Bakersfield Homeless Shelter has nearly 200 beds total. Frontage Lane Navigation Center has around 250 and was recently approved for a 50 bed expansion. And the M Street Navigation Center has nearly 150. There's been an ongoing effort with trying to get affordable housing units up. It's just the problem has gotten at a crisis level. On Thursday, Governor Gavin Newsom vowed to take away funding from cities and counties that do not see improvement in encampments in the next year. However, officials say that shelters and navigation centers aren't always the best option. Over this past year, there's been 202 uh, affordable housing units constructed. We have another uh, 227 units under construction that will be available over the next couple of months. Economic Development Director Jenny Byers says the city can only move so fast in getting various projects approved, funded, and built. You come to the shelter how you are, but then you have individuals who in the shelter are like, we're tired of being on drugs. We, we're ready to get sober. But the only option is to have them next to someone who is still um, not at that same place. Another difficulty local agencies have to accept is the rate of people coming into homelessness is far greater than those leaving it. This is the old Red Roof Inn. And that facility was in the works with, you know, the housing authority took the lead. And they purchased the facility, they remodeled it. I just checked in and it's completely full. I'm, that's unbelievable. So we're talking, I think roughly about, I think 40 units. The city currently has around 467 affordable housing units in pre-development and is working towards a local housing trust fund grant from the state to get those projects moving forward. Meanwhile, over the last four years, the city has contributed around $4 million annually to affordable housing. In Bakersfield, I'm Veronica Morley, your senior reporter.